to infinity and beyond. Hello everybody, it's Roger James here from this Kingdom.com and in this episode we're going to be discussing E3 predictions for Star Wars video games, which I think are going to be very, very easy to guess because they kind of announced a little bit. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the big game that we're going to see from EA. Um, but we'll go into that a little bit more. But have you got any other ideas, James? Um, you know, we do know there's another couple of Star Wars games in the pipeline uh, that don't have names, but we might have like broad general ideas. It's entirely possible we might learn some more details about that, like the uh, the director who worked on the Uncharted mm -hmm. games. She might have some some more details about that, but she just tended to pop up at all the different events, kind of going, "We're doing something," but I can't tell you anything. So, yeah, we... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah uh, it's cool. We know it's cool. But we can't tell you. Yeah, um, just trying to think of like what else they 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 could do. Would they would we get a new pin? But like for last, you know, like like. I mean, yeah, Lego, that'd probably be Lego, Lego maybe. It would be nice, um, maybe a, a Last Jedi Lego. But I suspect we probably won't hear about that until after the movie no. comes out, kind of like we didn't for the Force Awakens. And I'm kind of hoping. If there is a Lego Star Wars announcement, maybe it'll be a remaster of the original Lego uh, with, you know, uh, episode or uh, Lego Star Wars three, the Clone Wars tossed in there, and then maybe on top of that, they could stick some Rogue One content mm. in there. The only reason I'm wondering that might not happen is they did literally for Xbox games would go this month, give everyone the saga, which is a bit like basically going anyone on Xbox One has got it. So whether or not they remastered it for PlayStation 4 would be a bit like, okay, all the guys on Xbox One, they can all have the old copy, but we're going to make a primary copy for PlayStation owners have to buy it. But also Switch owners can buy it as well. But um, I don't know whether or not we... we I, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I don't know if we'd get a Rogue One game, but it depends no. really on... The problem, obviously, with, is whether or not there was any plans to do, like... Lego Dimensions content or anything like that that they might have flipped over, but personally wondering if we might just get a Last Jedi game next year. But Lego, there, there's, I think there's a there could be a possibility something that so we could hear anything, maybe some re -re some re releases like they did before, because like, they did it last time with Battlefront. They had they kind of revealed they were gonna they released four old games at the same right. time. Yeah, I think uh, like Jedi Starfighter and, and games like that. Yeah, yeah. the so old PlayStation ones. Yeah, so I wouldn't be at all surprised if we had something similar or if if they announced Nintendo uh, did their like virtual console, whether or not we started getting Super Star Wars and you know, Return that Super Return of the Jedi and all those kind of games. I wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs> I don't think we're going to hear of any other AAA games other than Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is going to be the main focus. No, I think it'll be Battlefront 2. And then maybe a couple of allusions to the ones that are already in progress, like we've already heard. Uh, but I suspect, you know, if they really want to reveal those, it'll probably be closer to D23. Because that, that's, you know, the Disney yeah. thing. And most of the Star Wars actors and actresses will probably be there. Yeah, the, the one issue for me is that element of this year's about Star Wars Battlefront 2. They don't want to distract too much from that. And right. that's going to, you know, EA are going to be putting all, you know, they, you know, they said literally this week that they have... The Star Wars Battlefront 2 has got three times more content than the original, which is like, well, if you just put the original and put a double it, that's, you know, it, there's going to be It's a lot still not much. <laughs> no. Um, there's definitely going to be, I think, a lot, you know, there's going to be on demo, so people are going to see it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a lot of Star Wars Battlefront information. But I'm just, it's that kind of thing of like, you know, it's like mobile stuff. I can't see that being kind of shown off too much at that at that point. I, again, I think mobile would be more at home at D23. And actually, of all of their franchises, Star Wars already has almost all of the various mobile styles, um, styles already represented. You've got, you know, the PvP game. You've got actually two PvP games. Uh, yeah. You've got the, the RPG game. You've got... Them appearing in Disney some some so they've yeah. at least got the puzzle game droids they've got the the um, Candy Crush game there's not really all that other yeah. many areas they could go they used to have uh, what was it Underworld under mm -hmm. something which was like a true RPG but that didn't do so well yeah I mean in some ways it's like an odd thing of like you know we've not really had like that thing of Lego Star Wars has kind of given us the only real way of like playing through as characters because we've not really had that for a while where you actually 
you know, right, you have to, you know, that kind of force unleashed kind of story mode where, you know, whether or not we see, you know, some more content from Star Wars The Old Republic, where, you know, could we see a console version announced? I don't know. It's very difficult. You know what I would actually really like is if they had a game, it doesn't have to be AAA, but a, a game starring the Rebels, the mm-hmm. Star Wars Rebel team, you know, Sabine and, and uh, uh, Kanan and Hera and all them, because they appeared in Infinity, but they didn't have a play set. Mm-hmm. So that would be okay. something, and especially with the final season coming out, it would be a good time to kind of capitalize on that. Mm-hmm. Will we? Will mm-hmm. they do something that? Yeah, probably mm-hmm. not, but uh- it'd be great. I mean, I've been sort of hearing rumors of like, you know, maybe Xbox are going to go down the line with this new Project Scorpio of being like a Steam machine for Windows kind of thing. It's basically just a Windows PC. Now, if it went like that way, like the Old Republic could come over to Xbox a lot easier because it could be done. But obviously, as we've seen with Marvel Heroes, you need the different um, control mechanism to be changed for consoles, which start. But you can't help but look at this like massive um, franchise and think, you know, they they could make some more money going out to a different console market. And I think they had their fifth anniversary of Ashes. So it's in their fifth, sixth year. It really depends on that. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we saw some new trailers or some new information about new chapters and stuff added to that game as well. Honestly, uh, and I wouldn't expect it this year, but within the next couple of years, we'll probably actually see a replacement for the Old Republic. I mean, it's a replacement for the original Star Wars MMO, but, you know, this game is no longer in canon. It's part of the old yeah. continuity. It wouldn't surprise me if they wanted to get something in the new continuity, maybe do something that takes place between episode six and seven, because yeah. there's 40 years there Yeah, that... that has almost been completely untouched, minus mm. like a little bit right after Return of the Jedi and right before Force Awakens, but very little in that forty-year yeah. space. And also, kind of that MMO, it's not really tying in with what you might call like events. They can't, they can't link in. Oh, look, there's a new Last Jedi content that we can sell to you guys. Because when Knights of the Old Republic or the Old Republic got created, events weren't really part of video games at the time, so they hadn't really planned like for. The way they do tie-ins, like now, like with the Marvel movies right. and stuff. Whether or not we see anything announced on that, I don't know. It, it might, like I said, it could just primarily focus on on Star Wars Battlefront. But I wouldn't wouldn't be at all surprised if we saw some updates and some content to it. But it'd be nice. To, is that kind of thing? If we just want more, we just want more Star Wars. I, I, you know, you stick Star Wars on the label, and I will definitely at least pay attention. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we just need something because Battlefront Two is still a ways off, and and then what that means is our last two Star Wars releases were Battlefront yeah. and Battlefront Two, and you know one or two Disney play sets that were half baked at best. Yeah, not their fault, but you know, so yeah, it definitely it's like in the one way like one major Star Wars game a year is is great because it means it's done properly, but also. It's like a thing as well of like different kinds of games like that. Like I know obviously like we've talked about the the, the game that the the one Aunt, I was Amy that did Uncharted. You know they're working on more of a like a an adventure game. For me, those are the kind of games I love. You know, I haven't just put seventy eighty hours into Zelda and now just working my way through Uncharted Four. I like that style of game. Whereas Battlefront Two is great to jump in and out of, but it's a shooting. It's a it's it's a different. And like we said with mobile, there's. There's nothing really of that kind. So hopefully, you know, we look at like what's going on with Marvel. You know, they've got different aspects of different styles. Star Wars doesn't really have that so much at the moment. No. And you know what? This is what I'm thinking. You know, Injustice 2 is coming out this week. We've got Marvel vs. Capcom. This is the perfect time for them to revive Masters of Taros Kai, Kasai, the, uh, the excellent and perfect Star Wars fighting game yes. from the original PlayStation. Yeah. There were no problems with that game. No. None at, at all. That I can't keep a straight yeah, face. Yeah, you know, it, could, <laughs> yeah, it could be a 2019 game. They definitely could do something. <laughs> but I think definitely, it, in some ways, it feels like the, the, the deck... I, I'm not expecting a lot of surprises for this one. No. Uh, yeah. And if there are going to be surprises, it'll be at D23. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is the problem with talking about E3 and Disney. It's like they want to save their biggest guns for the big mm. Disney fans at D23, and they don't want them to get overwhelmed by announcements of the new no. Assassin's Creed or the new whatever, Call yeah. of Duty World War II. The thing is, well, like, E3 is such a big explosion of stuff coming through that it's easy to get lost in it. But also, I always think of E3 as more about 
telling you what's coming up for this holiday season. That's what it's all about, getting everyone excited for the next six months, you know, because they'll use the other events to kind of get ready for, um, I mean, while, like, February and March has become a hot season for video games, they don't like to go too much beyond Christmas, it seems, for most announcements. Yeah, it, and I think that makes sense, because yeah. if you announce stuff for February or, or March, then you kind of neuter Christmas, because, like, well, you can get you know, Battlefront 2 for Christmas, or you can wait and get Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi in March or April. Yeah, I mean, I think they tend to, they, they aim at different audiences, but generally, well, yeah, yeah it's, it, I don't know, it's definitely an odd thing. But we'd love to know your thoughts on what you guys maybe are thinking or hoping you're going to see from the Star Wars side at E3. You can always comment below or get in touch with us on all the different social medias. And on that note, you can find us on all the different video and audio platforms, and also you can find us over at thiskingdom.com. Again, thanks for James for joining me, and we We shall see you guys soon. Later. Later.